OP's best friend demands expensive wedding gifts. AITA October 25, 22. Originally posted by you, Standard Passage 7787 in R, Am I the Asshole on October 10, 22. Updated October 25, 22. Original Post. AITA for refusing to get my best friend a wedding gift? I. 23F. Have known my best friend. 24F. Let's call her Maria. Since we were babies. We have been inseparable our whole lives and she is like a sister to me. We both grew up in a poor area and our families struggle a lot with money. We are both in our final year of college now and I don't have a lot of money to spare I have lots of student debt and I work two jobs to have enough money for food and rent, etc. We both go to a very prestigious college so we have worked very hard to get to where we are. Around six months ago, Maria met a guy at the shop she works at, called Mike, 33M. They started dating pretty quickly and Mike is very rich he is the definition of living off daddy's money. At first I was a little bit skeptical as obviously Mike is quite a bit older than her but she seemed happy. After a month of them dating, Maria had changed a lot. She was missing lectures and tests to go on last-minute holidays to Dubai, Paris, New York, etc., and always coming back with designer accessories. After three months she moved in with Mike, which upset me as I had to sell our shared apartment because I could not afford rent by myself. I thought they were moving very quickly but I didn't want to seem jealous or petty by bringing it up. Around a month ago, Mike proposed to Maria, and she accepted. I was happy for her. But after she told me her plans, I was shocked. Maria's dream since we were kids was to work for NASA and she has worked so hard for this she has taken internships there and was planning to apply there for next year. But her new plan is to get married, graduate college and move to LA with Mike and become a housewife. The wedding is planned for this December and it is the most lavish, expensive wedding that you could think of. Her bridal shower is next week and she has asked me to be her maid of honor. While I don't approve of her plans, of course I said yes. She's inviting me and some of her new, rich friends she's met through Mike to the shower. And she made a group chat with all of us in. She sent us a list of the presents she wanted which took me by surprise because this list included designer items and luxury furniture that I could definitely not afford the cheapest was $550. I had planned to get her something sentimental and personal, not designer brands. While all the bridesmaids were discussing in the chat what they would buy for her I messaged her privately and apologized that I wouldn't be able to buy anything. She completely went off at me, saying that my financial issues shouldn't get in the way of her wedding. I got pretty upset as this isn't the Maria I've known my whole life and she is well aware of my issues with money. I told her that if this is the way she's acting, I wouldn't buy her anything at all. She's removed me from the wedding party chat and I've had several angry messages from Mike and the bridesmaids telling me what a horrible friend I am. I'm feeling very conflicted about whether I'm in the wrong. AITA? Verdict. Not the asshole. Update 18 days later. Thank you everyone for your comments. It has been three weeks since I dropped out of the wedding party and I am still getting calls from Mike and the bridesmaids. I spoke to a couple friends and asked for advice and like a lot of comments said they advised just to be there for Maria and try to reach out if possible. I messaged her last week asking to meet for a coffee and after being left on read for a few days. She agreed. I spoke to her explaining my concerns about the marriage and why I decided to drop out of the wedding party. She stayed silent through all of it and when I finished she broke down in tears. So badly she couldn't speak. I took her back to my place and once she calmed down she explained what was really happening. Like I said, Mike lives off his parents' fortune. 
Turns out his parents had a deal he could only continue using their money as long as he got married by 35. As he was quickly reaching this deadline he found a young, pretty girlfriend and rushed into marriage so he could continue his luxury lifestyle. Maria found this out at family dinner back in July. Maria tried to confront him but he threatened her with taking all her money leaving her jobless and without a place to live. Mike's parents also have a prenuptial in the works and Maria confessed she has been stalling it as long as she can. She also explained to me that the bridesmaids, new, friends, had been picked by Mike as daughters of his father's friends and they all made fun of Maria for being previously poor. Because of this she felt like she had to change hence the dramatic personality change in expensive registry. It all went down after I dropped out of the party. Maria caught Mike cheating with an even younger girl. She found messages of them sexting and evidence of her coming to their house. She confronted him and he denied everything. Deleted all evidence and tried gaslight her into thinking she made it up. She was sleeping in the spare room until we met up. And right now she's staying on the couch in my apartment. Last night she officially called off the engagement and both me and her have been receiving hateful messages all night. We're making a plan at the moment to help her cut ties with Mike. Get back on track with college and find a job again. I'm still mad at her for what she did to me and it will take a very long time for our friendship to get back on track but I am trying my best to support her. Again, thank you everyone for your comments and feedback. I really appreciate it. While she still has a long way to go, I am happy to see that the person I knew and loved is slowly coming back. I'm sure Mike could have found some woman willing to marry him just for the money and let him fool around on the side as well if he was just upfront about it all. Yay. Her upkeep would cost more since it was a purely transactional relationship but it sounds like he has enough money coming in to have his cake and eat it too. I don't even know what to say to this other than WTF. Rich people are weird man. I guess I'm not understanding why Mike or the other bridesmaids cared so much if she was in the wedding or not. It wouldn't have affected them at all and from what she said they were all daughters of the dads. Friends I would have thought they wouldn't want her in the wedding anyway. And that is why kids, focus on your studies first. Marriage and love will happen once you get settled in life. This novel needs a good ending. Hmm. Either Maria goes on to finish her schooling and becomes one of the top NASA employees or much more likely. She meets a humble and kind lawyer who works at a non-profit and they fall in love and get married. His best man is a college friend who happens to be a corporate lawyer making the big bucks but is still very down to earth. He and Op are immediately drawn to each other. Mike's family were depending on him marrying into money because Gasp the family was broke. So Mike was buying a cheap wife as an investisman? Money has a price. Hopefully her friend discovered the bill before having to pay it. I'm stuck on selling an apartment because you can't afford rent? I wonder if it is a language issue and OOP is conflating mortgage payments with rent. But how were they approved for a mortgage if they were so strapped financially? Plus she says NASA so assumption is they are definitely in the US. Not understanding this part has clearly taken me completely out of the story. Op should realize that the her friend came back after she caught Mike in act. Support is okay but I think friendship is over. Damn. Saw her chance to jump class and bailed on her friend. Got totally used and comes crawling back? Oop is a bigger person than I am. Like I said, Mike lives off his parents' fortune. Turns out his parents had a deal he could only continue using their money as long as he got married by 35. Props for originality on this one. 
I was pretty sure Oop was writing herself into a Tinder swindler situation but they went with insane rich parents instead. Sort of wish they had kept the story going into her leveraging her position to be a beard for the dude or something. That would have really been original and let them string updates along. I've had several angry messages. Receiving hateful messages all night. Why don't people use the very helpful block feature? After one abusive message I am done. Op needs to set some ground rules because I am not sure the friend has learned to value her friends. After this. Maria met a guy at the shop she works at, called Mike that's a weird name for a shop. Sell our shared apartment because I could not afford rent, confused housing noises. If you are great at academics. Never marry a rich guy to be a housewife. Instead marry a poor hotter guy and make him a house husband. Well. At least Mike won't be living his luxurious life anymore since he ain't getting married. Unless he finds some poor sap who'll marry him in less than a year. I had to sell our shared apartment because I could not afford rent by myself. What? If you're paying rent, then you don't own the apartment and therefore can't sell it. What kind of weird parental rule is that? You can only access our vast wealth if you get married by 35. So, we approve of unlimited, spoiled mooching only if it pumps us out some grandchildren and a few nice photos. Turns out his parents had a deal he could only continue using their money as long as he got married by 35. You lost me. That's now how rich people distribute their money. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.